What do you do when you're the only one? When you are alone against the world? It's not easy to think about. Do you stay in bed, let someone else handle it, and reap the reward? Do you let your sole reward be the comfort of staying out of the cold and harsh terrain? No. You put your feet on the ground, take a look outside, and smile. It is no secret the pressures of society push you to conform to normal careers to become a part of the motion blur that is our world speeding by faster than you can imagine. I chose something different. I chose to create my own blur. I chose to slow things down by speeding myself up. It was a choice to put myself in a situation where I could be the only one. I wish it were different. I wish there were more friends here with me, standing at my side in the eyes of the world. However, it's not an easy road to being the best. You have to put your head down, test your strength, your durability, test your limits. The challenges of this road can prove too much, can pull others away. It is only through determination will you be able to see it through. You have to focus on the bigger picture so that the smaller ones don't detract you from your goals. So why do you smile at the world? Why is it that when you feel the most alone, you feel the strongest? Because it's in those moments when you're by yourself, staring into the face of the world, that you realize you're never really alone. We've all had friends, family, someone to help shape ourselves into who we are. So in those moments when there is no one to your left, no one to your right, no one in front or behind you, still know that you're surrounded. That is the world you smile at.